Brandy, you have a bunch of things that you've done completely outside in terms of real estate, uh, real estate development. You have uh, bought vacation properties, built an entire business there. Talk a little bit about uh, something that you've done for 20 years that most people, if you walk down the street, would know you for. But in the background, you're like building a completely different business. Is there issues and, and challenges there? And like, how have you used the experience that you had in the industry for the benefit of actually building out on the real estate side? Well, to Candace's point, um, n nobody knows my real name other than my great grandfather, my maiden name. But my face is Brandy Love. They're, they're, they go side by side. So regardless of what I call myself publicly, it's Brandy. So there have been times in our real estate business where we go to purchase a home, because we, we do both renovations and vacation rentals, but there's always a renovation involved in the process. We buy the home or, go, or put in a contract and we're excited, it's a it's perfect house. We've already started to develop its concept, what we want it to look like. And our realtor will come back and go, <clears throat> guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but they won't sell you the house because we were Googled and they don't care for my other profession. Mm. First time it happened, it was a little like, I wanted to dig my heels in and fight, you know, because that it just feels so wrong. It, it's just, it is wrong. And then you realize, you know what? I, I chose a profession that is controversial. Not everybody is capable of managing it in their own minds. It's gonna happen. And in the course of 10 years that we've had the real estate business, we've lost two homes to purchase and we ended up selling a vacation home because the neighbors made it such hell. They made it very clear that they were going to ruin our guests' time mm. and that they were gonna make every part of the process from renovation to leasing an impossibility. I used to get ulcers driving down the street. It was so uncomfortable. So you just, you cut your, it wasn't a loss. It was still, we still sold it for a profit. So that was good. But you, you need to know when to just walk away. And that has to do with choices that we made to be in the adult industri industry, which I have zero um, regrets regarding it. However, there, you have to know that there are going to be some challenges or roadblocks from people who don't want to accept that you could be more than, or, um, you know, guests that show up and you, you, you any questions? You know, here's the TVs, here's the AC. And one of the members of the family is going. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you just kind of look at them, you're like, keep going, keep moving, keep moving, you know? You, you don't call them on it? No, no, I don't. Do you know do how that. many people in the I audience privately messaged me and was like, I don't know who these people are? <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, it's totally cool. But um, the, the business aspect, uh, I think somewhat through DNA, from my great grandfather, my grandfather, my father, all very brilliant business people, the entrepreneurial spirit. I was born with it, thank God. My husband of 28 years has the same zest for life and business. And his professional career with my professional career, pre-adult, it created the career for the adult world. And then we just parlayed that into real estate. And there was a learning curve. Neither one of us came from real estate or interior designing or any of that. So the first three years were a huge um, learning curve mm -hmm. and we made every mistake you can make and um, now we just love it. It's just part of who we are. 